the receivers. And uh, we'd find a very good point in the crystal for a program, and we'd fall asleep with the, <laughs> the receiver on the pillow and our ear against it. Uh, among other things, meant leisure. The word school means leisure. And, uh, school. So the persons who go to school are really people who don't have to work. Understand the language and grammars of men. On the other hand, we have increasingly tended to turn the classroom into a place of work. You went to Cambridge University, right? The undergraduates of Cambridge were appalled. Among others. Right. But no, you're not in Canada. No, more than you don't have an attempt. You went to Cambridge University, right? Among others. That means you completed school, right? I, went, I completed several schools. Oh. I, did, I did two PAs and two MAs and one PhD. Well, why? If you say school should be bypassed. Because I regard it as utter leisure. Among others. This was the Broadway campus of the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg. Today, no one of the citizens is aware that this is the origin of the Winnipeg School of Communication. Among its members, Samuel Don Ichi Hayakawa. Go down the Red River and sail. thousand people there and so someone asked McLuhan uh, what, um, what do you think of the uh, Hayakawa uh, conference so he said well um, I'm sure it's fine Irving Goffman, William. Ormond, Mitchell, Rupert Clendon. Can you remember the Irishman who said, seeing a brawl going on, sure, and is this a private fight or can anyone get in on it? And the Irish do enjoy a fight. Lodge. Noel Fieldhouse Henry Wilkes Wright writes the moral standards of democracy is the 168th of 168 here is a quote from the 1925 book and these agencies themselves are extensions in the physical world of those bodily organs of intercommunication and personal association possessed by every human being but I find them very exciting things to investigate. They are, as you know, parts of our own bodies, enlarged and extended into the, to create human environments. The, uh, any technology is a part of ourselves uh, acting as a, a new environment. A man who may have sublimly, a man who may have subliminally influenced McLuhan. than any other professor in the young man's life. Henry Wilkes Wright and these three guys, Thomas Easterbrook, David Carlton Williams, and Herbert Marshall McLuhan. For four of the five years McLuhan attended the University of Manitoba, he would walk over the Osborne Street Bridge to attend classes taught by Lodge, Fieldhouse, Wright, and others at the downtown Broadway campus, currently invisible.
he would walk over the Osborne Street Bridge. To attend classes taught by Lodge, Fieldhouse, Wright, and others at the downtown Broadway campus, currently invisible. 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 about this guy. Marshall McLuhan. The guy uh, that that hall's named after. No. The gears in reverse. The huge smog of inky blackness that was settling over the mind of Europe. Which one of these people? Yeah. Oh. Did you feel... I found, I was, for example, at Cambridge, I was amazed to discover that uh, a large proportion of the undergraduates, they were uh, 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 like uh, high school kids from Canada. Stupid. Every man in civilized society is the right to be protected against the consequences of his own stupidity. Now, what he was saying was that the ordinary modes of human living and endeavor create nothing but chaos. And if you want order, you have first to start with the fact of human stupidity and greed and nonsense and put them in order. Do you, do you mean it terribly seriously when you say that your books can be open at any page? Any page, anywhere, yes. You're at the top of the intellectual tree. Is it a good sign for all of us that you failed grade six? Well, 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 I never heard about that. I think all of McLuhan's ideas had just sort of run their course. The show, which will uh, ensure a great deal of popularity and uh, representativeness to the show. And if you were a student in 1972 or three, say. If you can think of a sponsor or a, who ignores the audience. Are you going to take Marshall McLuhan's class? Oh, I don't know. It's kind of passe. Um, maybe the CBC in Canada. So that means a, a six big bureaucratic um, organization which uh, feels it's quite above the needs of the audience. And uh, so it creates a great many unpopular shows. He undergoes brain surgery and the doctors remove a benign tumor the size of a lemon. And that affected his thinking. How could it not affect your thinking? <clears throat> I wouldn't say they're especially interesting. They're just unpopular. <laughs>
And he was left actually unable to read. 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 And uh, to what extent the BBC is in the same boat, I don't know, but you may, you might be able to comment. You did fail grade six. No, I no, I didn't. Our research made an error. Yep. Yeah. Linear thinking again. Yeah, yeah. it's a. We were using the wrong hemisphere. Class, classification problem. Uh, no, I never failed any grade ever. But uh, anyway, the, I, that doesn't mean I did superbly well at school because I wasn't that interested. In school? No, I wasn't very interested. But you have become interested. I've got since interested since then. Marshal McLuhan, you must come back in another evening, and I will, I'm, I'm going to start tomorrow brokering you for the CBC. <laughs> we'll get it in a whole study of Marshall McLuhan looks at Canadian politics. I think so. That's, a, that's fair enough. <laughs> I'm going to pause briefly and be right back. Okay, so you say the Gladstone was at Confusion Corner. I've, I've seen an aerial photograph of it. It's where... One of the peculiarities and unexpected results of the speed up of electricity, telegraph, and so on, one of the strange effects on writing was an understanding for the first time of the creative process. Uh, I used that phrase and maybe just a message on a radio. Let me reassure you, people. I once spoke in 1957. I once spoke in 1957. TV is in June to the radio broadcasters. Uh, radio people. I was a radio con. At that time, they were terrified of the effect coming effects of television. The radio medium is unique, and the medium is the message. 